Hello, Lions. My name is Insude Maduka Evaristus. I am an electronic engineer by profession. I am the founder and CEO of Evatronics. Evatronics is an engineering company with the mission to bring technological solutions to all economic sectors. Yes, all. And so far, we've done that. Like in health sector, when COVID came up last year, we developed Corometer for checking body temperature, and that won us a US award. Yeah, oh, the price is not here. All right, so it won us a US award, most practical US-based project, Corometer. It can also show NCDC's number for its call. We developed Karcham. That won us an award from the Nigeria Society of Engineers. That's Karcham to address the incident fire disasters that happen in the country. All right, so we cannot stop developing solutions for sectors. Even in linguistics, we have a solution, and we'll keep doing that. So the next move we want to make is to start mass producing these, one after the other, because these are prototypes, these are MVPs, minimum viable products. All right, so I am seeking a 100 million Naira investment, and I am willing to offer a 10% um, equity in exchange for this investment. How long have you been running the business? Yeah, it has been since 2015. Since 2015. Yeah, and then I registered it to CAC 2017, okay. and to today it keeps expanding. Okay. 2017, what were your numbers? We made a revenue of um, 5 million naira. Okay, 2018? We stepped up to 8.5 million. 2019? 2019, we moved to 9 million. And in 2020? The terrible year, of course, we dropped. We dropped to 7.2. For these fantastic products you're creating? Yeah. Wasn't that the year of Corometer? Uh, exactly. That's the year we developed Corometer. That's the year we developed automatic hand washing and sanitizing machine. Okay. So on average, what <laughs> were your profits on these numbers? On average, we've made about 27M. So total revenues are about 27 million. What were your profits? 23M. Was about 23 million? Yes, sir. So your total cost was 4 million over these years? Yes, sir. Where do you get that valuation? I consulted a couple of um, friends in accountancy, um, okay. a couple of friends who are accountants. Okay. So they and they're qualified me. accountants? Yeah, they're qualified as accountants. And the next level we want to move now is to bring them on board, which is why we are seeking this investment. I'm going to make you an offer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. If you fail in this line of business, I might be able to offer you a job in comedy. Okay, sir. <laughs> I have no further interest in this. It's not investable. And I'm not even sure that you came here very, very seriously. Um, and I'm out. Evaristus, you value this business at one billion. Yes, sir. But from what you're saying, in about four years, your profit is 23 million out of, say, to be generous, 30 million. Yes, sir. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm very sure, sir. What was your best product in terms of revenue? Yeah, the best product was the smart energy meter we developed, IoT-based, over the internet. It sends you the readings, how much you are consuming. And you can control, you can turn off things. Like our Is... demos are on YouTube channel, they are on Facebook page. We have a lot. No, can... Ever so soon, you know, calm down. <laughs> <We're> yeah. not... <laughs> I know you're an inventor. You're very passionate about your inventions. You know, about apart from the inventions, we need to talk numbers, and that is what I'm interested in. So tell me about that invention. How much did it cost you to make? What, uh, what did you call it again? Corometer. Corometer. <laughs> then there's this other one, Catchem, addressing fire disaster. It can no. call you. It can send you one in, one in SMS. Catch up. It can call them. Let me check. Yeah. Can I no. look at Yeah, in fact, there's so much interest in that no. Even Nigeria's site of engineers is so much interested in it. That's why they gave it that award. OK, yeah. that's fine. This Corometer, do you have a sample here? Actually, the prototype was developed. It won an award. Someone bought the prototype. Everestus, calm down. OK, sir. Calm down. This Corometer, how much did it cost you to make the cost of production was just 10,000, and the person bought it 40K, 40,000 Naira. OK. Yeah. So and we can always make more. I'm trying to narrow things down here, because I'm trying to see how you got these numbers. And I asked for your best product, and it happens to be this Corometer. And you made only one and sold it for 40. That doesn't begin to correlate with the numbers that you have given. 
How much money have you put into this thing? On average, I've put about 5 million naira into this, even while I was in school. Okay, yeah. so in the last 10 years or whatever, you put 5 million naira into it. I'm now and you think, and you really, really do think it's worth a billion naira? Huh? Anyway, you know, look, I think, I think you've come here to have fun. I've had fun, you, so you've achieved your aim from me. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not invested in this. I'm not really going to waste your time. Thank you very much anyway, and um, um, I'm out. Okay, so then I want, to, I want to say again, like, you know, one thing I found hard coming was trying to make you understand that we have a lot. Okay, let me give you for instance. We have a solution for climate, even climate change. We are so dynamic. For instance, there is ever climate monitor that can monitor temperature, humidity, precipitation. IoT, it sends it to your software. Everlistus. Right? We also have vehicle emission. Everlistus. <laughs> Hello. We have a lot. <laughs> Maybe you have, you maybe have a I lot, it's not another. going to guarantee that you will get an investment. Neither is your continuous non-stop interruption and talking going to guarantee that you're going to get an investment. So, calm your pants. You have a lot of energy, which is amazing, honestly. And don't lose that energy. Don't lose that passion. But you have to learn to communicate what it is that you want and what it is that you're doing. You cannot walk in here with nothing and say that you have a business that is worth a billion naira. I'm sorry, I don't see anything I can invest in here. Can we play and the so demo so you see them? Play the demo, but... They are just, this is, this is 0.2%. Donatus, you will let me finish the conversation. This is not, like, if you play the demos now, you see they are you know, just a lot. I, I, I would like to meet your mother. <laughs> I would like you, you to meet my like mother. You seem like the kind of child that they would have pulled your ears from Sokoto to Asaba. <laughs> because you wouldn't keep quiet and listen. The first rules of success in life is you have to learn to listen. Don't walk out of here missing the lessons that can make things better for you down the line. Calm yourself. And I will finish my sentence. I will not be investing today. And I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Everastus, I know the secret to your one billion valuation. And that is your energy. If we can package that energy and sell it, we are going to be billionaires, you and I. However, with what you have so far, you don't have a business, my friend. And therefore, I'm out. If I give you 100 million now, can you break down the 100 million for me? About half of it will go into getting the factory space because we've already developed a couple of prototypes. What kind of factory? Yeah, we intend having um, a factory that will have equipment like 3D printer, um, production line, um, milling machine, um, components pick and place, PCB making machine. Yeah, so we now start picking these products one after the other, beginning okay. from the security then devices. The other 50 million, what are you going to do with it? That will now handle operation, operational costs and a couple of other costs. Everestus, I like your awards and all that, but you are not a business person. And that is why your presentation has been a bit noisy, a bit abrasive, fractured and porous. My advice to you is that you need a commercial person. You talk about inventions, your commercial person talks about the business. So because of these abrasions, and because you've not articulated this, your inventions very well, in commercial terms, I'm afraid I'll not be investing, therefore I'm out. All right, thank yeah. you very much. You're out? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck.